do. And we're going to cut up the uh, first at time. from most markets because you can do a tremendous amount of peeling with it. Okay, now these will go into the pot. It's not the onion. It's not the onion's fault. Now, I reckon this is a lot like cutting pizza. And just throw it in a pot. We're going to chunk this up. Okay. Now what we're going to do is is give me three lines of one inches of bacon. And then we will take it out and we will brown the beef in the same pot here. And you should pour it away from yourself. Okay, now we've got most of it cooked down. It's nice and crisp. Heat. And we're going to just kind of give them a little room so that they can each do their own things. Make sure that we're going to salt and pepper this side. Well, that looks brown to me, I think. So I guess we're going to turn it over here. Okay, now that we got it, the beef brown, we're going to add the bacon back in. And here comes the fun part. We're going to give it about three cups, and you don't have to measure this exactly, but it should be about three cups of a good red wine. And basically what I'm doing is just putting enough to be able to color the meat. We don't come down with any burns. It is heavy. Here. So we're going to use this off the bottom of the pot and get it back into solution. Okay, now what I'm going to do is pour a little bit of wine in here. Well, we might as well just and the bay leaves, which we can and again we're pouring it away from us Add this bacon water in there to cover.
Okay, I've been heating up these vegetables. Now we're going to check and see how if the meat is soft and done. And it definitely is very soft. few drops of olive oil so when I add the butter it doesn't burn and then I'm going to add equal parts of butter and flour now I want to make sure this doesn't burn with the butter and I'll turn the heat up And I think that's just about it. So I'm going to turn the fire off. A lot to be able to thicken it up, thicken the stew up. And of course, this is tomato paste. It's very thick. That's a tomato roux. <laughs> Now this will all dissolve in the stew and it'll thicken it up quite a bit. There you have it. Not bad, not bad at all.